Hi guys! Welcome back! I'll bring you to La Union province, but we are not going surfing. Sorry for disappointing some of you. We'll dig deep and look for other areas to visit in the province. I actually have something to do in La Union, so our travel was partly a side trip. We decided not to bring a car and just ride the bus. And we chose Partas. It was actually a wrong move for us. Anyways, our first stop, na Makpakan Church. But first, we'll show you a statue of General Antonio Luna, which is around the rotonda. The town was formerly known as Namakpakan but changed to Luna to honor the Luna brothers, General Antonio and the painter Juan Luna. And the general's mother was a native of Namakpakan. Namakpakan Church, the Church of Santa Catalina de Alejandria, is located in Luna, La Union. Classified as an earthquake baroque church with thick walls and buttresses connected to a brick to a brick exterior stairway of different design and shapes. A ceremonial archway or capilla posa can be found at the church's entrance. Its 1872 white and yellow facade falls under the baroque style with the presence of rounded pediments. Three sets of two pairs of engaged columns and two sets of single columns along with twin bell fries adorning the facade. A wooden altar, Spanish-era stone pulpit, and a wood relief of the baptism of Christ, probably polychrome, can be found inside the church. Its convento is now used as a school. Miraculous Claims The decree for the canonical coronation of the image, along with its canonical crown, several miracles attributed to the Virgin of Namakpakan are widely known, including the healing of a young girl named Rosa, Roldan, who was unable to walk since birth. Before Pope Pius XII died on October 9, 1958, he reportedly saw the Blessed Virgin Mary enshrined in Namakpakan in a dream. He asked where Namakpakan was, but none of his staff were aware of the place's existence. The answer was only revealed after the pontiff's death. I actually prayed to the Blessed Virgin Mary of Namakpakan. My prayers were actually answered. Second stop, Baluarte, the Watchtower. From the church, you can ride the tricycle. It's a 10-minute ride or less. A 400-year-old watchtower facing the West Philippine Sea, built during the Spanish period. A 5.6-meter high made by reddish brick structure located at Barangay Victoria. Spaniards created the tower as a lookout point for the approaching attacks of Japanese, Chinese, and Moro pirates and other conquerors in the coastal towns of La Union. No one was swimming at that time, but probably because of the big waves. Since we are just commuting, it was hard to go back to the center or to the church, so we needed to walk back. Our third stop is Takamai na Bato, offers an assortment of arts carved from stones. Situated in the Pebble Beach, the art pieces are carved and assembled by Mr. Vong Kim, 
originally a Korean national and married to a Luna local. He graduated in Korea with a degree in fine arts specializing in sculpture and now resides in Luna with his wife and two kids. Majority of the art pieces are made of stones created by Mr. Kim himself. Some of it were carved by his students as he shared his talents with the locals. Wood carvings, paintings, 3D wall decors, and other interesting pieces are also part of the gallery.
Fourth stop, Machu Temple. It's a Taoist temple to the Chinese sea goddess Masu, located in San Fernando, La Union. It was built in 1977 by a group of Filipino Chinese devotees under the leadership of D. K. Hyo and with the support of former tourism secretary Jose Aspiras. Unfortunately, I got a problem with the hard drive where I saved my video, so a lot were not restored. Anyways, I enjoyed your visit here. It's very calming. Fifth stop, Cathedral of St. William the Hermit. The diocese which comprised the civil province of La Union was created on January 19, 1970 and canonically erected on April 11, 1970 with St. William the Hermit as the titular saint. Prior to the creation of the diocese, the church was formerly known as the Archdiocese of Nueva Segovia. Our next stop, Poro Point Lighthouse. Built during the American occupation in 1905, it is a concrete tower standing 27 feet high and houses a gallery. However, it's rarely used as a guide for ships since it has no lantern. But every 10 seconds, there's a bright white light that flashes indicating that the lighthouse is still functional. Our next stop, Red Clay Pagdamilian, a new and different experience and learning pottery. I tried to create a basket featuring our dog pancake. We paid 500 pesos per person. You leave your art so that they can bake it, but you'll have to wait for months to be available. You can contact them through Facebook.
After our pottery lesson, we took a quick dip in San Juan Beach. Sadly, as our photos and videos was not retrieved. Our next stop, Freedom Park and Hero Seal. Situated at the eastern portion of the Capitol Hill, to be found are nine statues of our national heroes, signifying the people's reverence to their works and sacrifices in attaining the freedom of our nation. There are a total of 153 steps. Unfortunately, it was part of the damaged videos and I regret it a lot since I took time to climb the stairs and it was really hot that time. Our last stop, Pindangan Ruins, 1764 church ruins with standing buttresses and walls looked after by Carmelite sisters. Thank you for watching. If you also knew some places that we can visit in La Union, please comment below and we'll try to visit those in the future. Thank you and see you in the next. Bye!